Tony, a, uh, that was a very well-pitched ball game. What, what, what did you see from Carlos that, that made him look, you know, as good as he's looked uh, this year or, or really any other? Well, it's just another outstanding performance, you know, this ballpark against that lineup. Uh, it was very sharp, unfortunately, Montgomery, you know, with a different mix of pitches, just kept us off balance all night. Uh, what, what did you see on the uh, triple play? Obviously, that's a rarity and, and kind of a, a fluke play from a from a rally standpoint, I would imagine, but uh, an impressive one nonetheless. Well, I look at what uh, what Andrew did. He made hard contact, and that made a triple play. You know, that ball side to side, it breaks in breaks the inning open, but that's baseball. James. I don't know how what just what was uh, so tough about Montgomery tonight. I don't know how much you you got to watch him before tonight, but uh, what was really working for him? He pitched. He looked at he threw everything. He threw a fastball to several areas, a little slider, and threw a curveball, and he threw some changeups. I mean, he didn't. Um, he took advantage of our aggressiveness a couple of times with chasing pitches, but he made he didn't throw much in the middle. Got to give him credit. Mark. Tony, uh, the phrase playoff field probably gets thrown around a little too much, but with, you know, the plays you guys made with second and third, one out, and then first and third, nobody out, the triple play, you know, just, just the way it was pitched. Did it have kind of that feel between you guys, both being very good teams? Well, you knew right away that, you know, our guy was pitching good and every guy was, so we just couldn't get on him, except that we had two guys, right? Uh, Yohan and, uh, and, and, and uh, Mercedes. Um, but, you know, when we went out there, you know, we, we talked about that play and uh, it's first and third and there's a good runner at third base. So our infielders were, and you can't take a double play, the run scores. So Tim, Tim took it, it was an awkward throw, made a great throw. Uh, and then we get out of the inning. So uh, on our part, that was outstanding execution. You know, we tied the game, eating great at bat to lead it off. And, Tim did a good job of putting the ball in play, giving him a third, and Mandrigo refused to strike out. Man, we did a lot of good things, but so did they. Bruce? Tony, on the, the play where Madrigal is uh, forced out at second, it, looks like, it looked like he did everything right. Uh, he had his eye, he was halfway, he had his eye on the ball. He got deep by the outfielder, but uh, was there, is there anything anyone could have done differently in that, in that scenario? No, I just think that, you know, the ball was exactly, you know, it was a die-in kind of line drive. Here comes the, the outfielder and he gets the glove up. I mean, if he catches it, he goes to second base, it's a double play. The way he worked it, they only got one out. So just, just uh, you know, tough break for us because that would have put, you know, that we were, really would have had a rally going. But as far as base running, the way he did it, we were still alive in the inning. It was a nice play by, by Judge. You got I mean – Along with his offensive talents, he's, he plays very well defensively. James? You had a Hendrix Warmy at the end there. Was that in consideration for a tie game in the ninth or only if there was a safe situation? Well, you know, we had no first, second, nobody out. So he was getting ready to, to save it for us. Um, uh, it didn't come to that. And at the end, you know, once you got in trouble, we got. Hoyer up, starting to throw, everything happened fast. Fewer. Anything else for Tony? 